Hi, I'm Sayla, and you're watching Sayla V with Sayla V. Today's guest is an acclaimed actor. You will recognize him from Heroes as Ando, and Justified, Hawaii Five-O, and many, many other things. He is also a fitness fanatic and a fitness model from time to time. Please welcome James Kyson. Hello. Hi. Thank you for being here. Oh, you're welcome. It's great to be here. My pleasure. You are just such an inspiration, especially, I mean, you're acting, but your fitness, you do everything. Tell us a little about how you work out and what you do to stay in such great shape. Yeah. Well, I'm. I could say the same about you, by the way. Like you do everything. You're in phenomenal shape right now, by the way. I... Well, thank you. <laughs> you are so sweet. We we often bond over our love for fitness and yes. healthy things. So yes. yeah. Yes. Thanks, James. Well, I, I guess for me, I had a uh, a shift uh, when I turned 24. Uh, I was checking out of a supermarket. I was living in Boston at the time, and uh, there was a book called Body for Life oh, uh, yeah, by Bill I've Phillips. Heard of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a guy that started a company called EAS, and then I. I just kind of grabbed it on a whim and read it, and it's the first time where I actually felt educated about my body and what I was putting in my body for the first time, it's for really whatever cool. reason. Yeah. And uh, I think that's kind of like where my journey started, and you know, since then, yeah, for the past you know 12 years or so, it's it's been learning a lot about food and having a better relationship with my body, and and now I feel like I've had the best relationship I've had with my body awesome. here. awesome. Yeah, I was remembering you telling me, I think uh, several months ago, that you were doing some sort of cleanse or do you do a lot of detoxing and, and eating raw and stuff like that or what's your normal? Yeah, I've been really getting into the raw vegan food um, nice. the last year or so. Um, but I think for me, I go with what I feel like my body needs. Mm. So if it feels like it needs uh, some great animal protein, uh, I do that. I do a lot of veggies, tons of vegetables, fresh vegetables. Uh, I also drink a lot of green juices, um, fresh fruits. So uh, but for me, it's always been less about roles and more about uh, what do I feel like my body needs right now. Very intuitive. Yeah, intuitive yeah. and also just being Love open. Um, and, and I think the more you become in tune with your body mm -hmm. and going through different seasons and different phases or states where you know what, what your needs are, the, the, the better you could adjust and modify. Absolutely. I love that philosophy. Do you tend to gravitate then towards more yoga or what is what does your workout look like when you're... Yeah, so about a year ago I started working out with uh, a friend of mine who works only outdoors. Okay. Yeah, and you know, especially when I was filming Heroes, I was in the gym really regularly, like five times a week. And yeah, because it was very physical, that role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was also a film that I had to shoot over the summer, and it was like an action sci-fi film that we did in Bulgaria, and there was a lot of running around. You know, we have these huge, like, uh, you know, laser guns, and we're fighting monsters and stuff like that. So wow. I was training seriously for that. So when I came back, um, like all my wardrobe had to change because I my body had oh. sort of changed a lot. Because you, you know? bulked up so much, like in well, the gym, or I why well, I, I gained more muscle, but I actually lost um, just size wise. So oh. like so I like I lost like a couple of inches off my waist wow. and just kind of my body was just kind of in a different shape. So, yeah. So they had to kind of so like refit cool. my entire wardrobe for heroes. Oh, that's funny. Um, but uh, but yeah, working out outdoors, it's been really interesting because it's all calisthenics and body weight and gravity and core mm -hmm. and uh, he brings TRX bands and, oh, and, cool. and, and so it's been so much more creative because you're uh, not limited to a machine, you're just actually figuring out you know, different body positions and, and, and discovering all these different muscles and I've been enjoying it a lot and That's really you know, cool. LA is one of the few places in the world that you could, you know, you can do that consistently throughout the whole year. Yeah, I mean, it's exactly. always sunny except two days or so. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It's really, and I think working outdoors really gives you that. Um, <clears throat> it's a spiritual thing too, connecting with the outdoors when we spend so much time on our computers and at our in our cars or whatever. I think that's really, really neat that you're doing that. Yeah. So uh, in the mornings, um, I now run with uh, my girlfriend. Okay. Uh, almost every morning, and uh, sometimes we'll run to the park, and then I'll meet up with my buddy and. You know, we'll do a, an outdoor workout, and it's great to feel the breeze and see the sun and see the clouds. And it's just, you're right, it has much more of an effect than just getting your muscles worked out. Um, Absolutely. Your head becomes clearer. Sometimes we add in a little bit of meditation. Nice. Um, and uh, I've also learned how to work out a lot more efficiently, you know. Uh, before, it used to be always, you know, you go to the gym for an hour, hour and a half and whatnot. And, and now I realize I've been doing a lot more circuit training. So oh, cool. uh, I've been using a boxing app. and. Um, and you could sort of 
uh, you know, modify, you know, how long you want the rounds to be. So oh, it could be wow. like one minute rounds and, um, you know, 15 second breaks and stuff like that. So that's so cool. Yeah. What's so the I, app called? I think it's called, I think it's called boxing. boxing? App. Yeah. yeah, I think it's called boxing. <laughs> that makes app. sense. Yeah. And it's like a giant glove. That's, okay, it's cool. a giant red glove. So, Can't miss it. <laughs> so, um, so we, I, I started using that and, uh, you know, I started with like 18 rounds and then 20 rounds and the total time will be like 23 minutes. And, That's cool. and, and because you're just kind of going nonstop and, but in, in short intervals, it's much easier because, uh, you know, the cycles are so much shorter. So there's a sense of success with each minute. Yeah. Like, yes, I completed that, but then now you're on to the next. And even after 20, 25 minutes of workout, you are you know, you get a, You're you get drenched. a great, yeah, yeah, you get a great workout in. High intensity interval yeah. training. That's the best yeah. to get the calories, the heart pumping. Mm -hmm. Now tell us, I know you uh, do some kind of fitness. Well, it's more health consulting for Mimosa Lotus, right? Mm -hmm. com. Tell us a little about that. What is that? Yeah. So Mimosa Lotus is a, a new website uh, that's launched and uh, their motto is do more of what makes you awesome. Um, I love that. So it's all about spreading positivity and elevating your consciousness. So, so myself cool. and uh, my friend Christina Huntington, who is a meditation teacher, uh, we're going to be starting a new show, a segment called James and Christina Try It First. And basically we're going to go around, you know, greater Los Angeles area and explore and try to experience everything that makes your mind, body and soul healthy and happy. I love this. Yeah. You guys will have to try my workouts. <laughs> Absolutely. That, that will be one it. of our segments. That would so be great. Kind of, you know, yeah, we'll about. cross over. Yes. I love yes. that. That's a great idea. And what are you working on acting wise right now? I know you've yeah. been working a lot. <laughs> yeah, so I literally just finished a film uh, Monday morning uh, called The Other Side. It's okay. a, uh, an action genre and it's a story of a, a detective uh, facing up against the hitman. And Basically, telling the both sides of a hostage uh, oh, wow. situation, okay. and um, by the end of the movie, you're not sure who actually was the protagonist and who was the antagonist. I so, love that. Yeah. That's a nice little twist. That um, is really cool. And when can we watch out for that? Do you know yet? Uh, I'm sure it'll take at least several months. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. For that to turn around. Um, uh, my, uh, I'm doing a couple episodes on Justified, and it actually starts oh, tonight. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, good. We'll be sure to watch out for that. Yeah. And tell us, do you ever cheat on your raw vegan lifestyle? What is your favorite cheat? <coughs> your sinful pleasure? My sinful pleasure? Um, <laughs> I would have to say dessert. You know, I'm yeah. a huge dessert guy. And um, that's why I've been sort of uh, going over more to the raw vegan desserts, you know, mm -hmm. especially the last year or so. A little healthier. Uh, yeah, the yeah. raw vegan ice creams or coconut ice creams. Because I, I was a big, like... Because I love gelatos and, and frozen yogurts yes. and stuff, so tr trying to find uh, healthy alternatives has always been, um, you know, the key and, it's and, a challenge. and, and, and the trick. So, um, and also, uh, my girlfriend and I, we've been sort of like hacking different kind of health foods. So we created our own superfood bowl that we've been doing in the mornings, oh. and it's frozen blueberries, uh, frozen Greek yogurts, uh, Ooh, uh, some go great. some some goji berries, some maca powder. Um, uh, we have some uh, uh, vegetable protein uh, superfood powder oh, that yeah, has like yeah. spirulina and corella mm -hmm. and things like that. And um, add a little bit of uh, bananas and um, and a little bit of kashi that has fiber. Nice. And I, sometimes big I add flat. Yeah, so it's, it's, like, it's like this big superfood bowl that we kind of have, you know, each morning. And um, That's awesome. Yeah, it's become... It almost feels like a treat. It's, it's, you look it is a to treat. Breakfast. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's like a dessert. Yeah. It's bre dessert for breakfast. Yes. I want to feature that on the website, actually. Rather than healthifying something for you, we are going to feature James's breakfast concoction on our website for you all to enjoy and tell our viewers where they can find you and follow you online and all that stuff. Yeah, so uh, my handle on Twitter is at James Kyson. Uh, it's also the same for Instagram and Facebook. And then you could always go to jameskyson.com for, you know, my latest adventures. Latest and greatest, yes. <laughs> my latest and greatest. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. It's such a pleasure talking with you and learning from you, as always. And thank you for watching. I'm Sayla, and you're watching Sayla V with Sayla V on EmpowerMe.tv.